Welcome to VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. The NFL has to be happy with this season. Granted, all jokes aside, the experts don't have to sell the fans wolf tickets. Fan bases wolf tickets about their team or this team will be going to the Super Bowl or this team is the favorite to win. This team is more likely to win and all of the other numbers and stuff that they spit out at you. I remember when it was New England versus New York, an undefeated New England. Everybody saw that coming, but a uh, New York that barely squeaked in and barely made the playoffs and went on a run. Who picked them at this time? with these many games left remaining. Not many, but some will go back and rewrite history and say that yes, I pick New York at that time and knew that they were going to beat an undefeated New England. See how that works? But, 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 with the playoffs and with the added game, there are more teams that have a shot to get in. There are more teams that vying for spots as well. The AFC has eight teams fighting for those final playoff spots. That's not division leaders. That's eight more fan bases engaged. That's eight more fan bases engaged in rooting and hoping and wishing that they team make it. Because once you get there and make it, it's a coin flip however your team that makes the least amount of mistakes will usually progress on and a better team can make more mistakes and be able to get over those mistakes whereas a weaker or lesser team can't make key mistakes or can't make so many mistakes because they aren't that good and they can't overcome those mistakes but they still a chance any given Sunday there's still a chance. Whereas in the NFC, there's about seven teams vying for those final spots. Seven fan bases hoping, seven fan bases wishing that they team just make the playoffs. So they can do what, like what I just said with the AFC teams. Make the playoffs and hope that their team make the least amount of mistakes against a team that's better than them so they can advance get hot, proceed on, and maybe end up at the Super Bowl, and who knows, possibly win the Super Bowl. That's the hope, and that's the dream that they have. Whereas the other teams, at the bottom, the other teams that has no shot, no chance of making the playoffs, the only thing they can hope, wish for, is that there's some systematic change to the system some systematic change to the system because obviously it's not working. If they're perennial losers, they're going to be looking for a top-down structure rebuild or a top-down changing of the guard. Top-down, put in new people because the old ideas just isn't working anymore. Whereas if it's just the first losing season, a coordinator or a coach or some kind of change, small incremental change could suffice. Some small change can pacify the fans on that level. But do it again, then it's going to be looking for a top-down change because you can't continuously be at the bottom and have no shot, especially with the NFL set up for you know, you know, any given Sunday, any team has a chance. We know that some teams have better shot and better chances than most. And it just always seems to win because of the structure that's in place. However, a few teams have a shot. A few teams can get lucky. A few teams can make things interesting. The best team doesn't always win. The best team 
usually wins. The best team is in competition to win. But that still leaves the door open for the other teams to at least try. To at least try. And that's what the NFL was shooting for. Anybody can win. Any given Sunday. Don't go out and buy those wolf tickets about who's going to win the Super Bowl at this point. Nobody knows. And I'm giving that to you for free.